Welcome to our lesson on zero and negative exponent. This is teacher Rachel. Our objectives in today's lesson are number one, illustrate zero and integral exponents. Two, Simplify expressions applying the loss of zero and negative integral exponents. Are you now ready to learn new lesson today? Sit back, relax, listen, and understand everything we will be discussing in today's lesson. Before we learn about zero and negative exponent, let us first go back to the loss of exponents, which was taught to you before during your elementary and your previous grade level. So we have here the different exponent rules. We have the product rule, quotient rule, power rule, power of a product rule, power of a fraction rule, zero exponent, negative exponent, and fractional exponent. But among this loss of exponents in this lesson, we will only be focusing on zero and negative exponent. So we have here the definition of terms, quotient of powers property. To divide two powers with the same non-zero base, subtract the exponent of the denominator from the exponent of the numerator. Say for example, we have a to the power of n divided by a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Or 4 to the power of 7 over 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 4 raised to the power of 7 minus 4, which is equal to 4 to the power of 3 or 4 cubes. Examples. Number 1. Simplify the following. Okay, number 1. X to the power of 8 divided by X to the power of 4. This is equal to X to the power of 8 minus 4, which is equal to X to the power of 4. Number 2. 4 to the power of 5 over 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 4 to the power of 5 minus 3 which is equal to 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16. Number 3. 12x to the power of 6, y to the power of 5, over 6x to the power of 2, y to the power of 2 is equal to so in this type of um, expression, which is polynomial, we will going to separate the coefficient from the variable para mas madali natin siyang masolve. So 12 divided by 6, and then we have x to the power of 6 minus 2, and then times y to the power of 5 minus 2. And this gives us... 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. x to the power of 6 minus 2, which is equal to x to the power of 4. And y raised to the power of 5 minus 2 is equal to y to the power of 3. Now, it's your turn. Let's see kung alam na ninyo kung paano gawin yung power of quotient property. Okay? Kasi yan yung magiging um, basis natin kung masusundan ba ninyo yung process ng zero and negative exponent. So we have here directions. Read and understand each questions carefully and circle the letter of the correct answer. Number one, transform the rational expression into its single form a to the power of 3 over a to the power of 4. We have here the choices, a, a to the power of negative 1, b, a to the power of 1, c, a, d, 1. Number 2, simplify a squared, b to the power of negative 3, c to the power of negative 4, 
over a to the power of 4, b to the power of negative 6? Is it a, a squared over a cubed, c to the, top, to the power of 4, b, b cubed over a squared, c to the power of 4, c, a squared over b squared, c to the power of 4, or d, b squared over a squared, c to the power of 4? Number 3. Simplify. x to the power of negative 3, y to the power of 2, over w to the power of negative 4, v to the power of 0. a. x cubed, y squared, w to the power of 4, v to the power of 0. b. x cubed, y squared, w to the power of 4, c w to the power of negative 4 over x to the power of negative 3 y squared or letter d w to the power of 4 y squared over x to the power of 3 number 4 simplify m to the power of 7 over m to the power of 3 a m to the power of 4 b m c m to the power of 3 over m to the power of 7, or letter D, 4. And last number, number 5. Simplify 15x to the power of 3 over 5x. A, is it 10x? B, 5 over 15x. C, 3x squared, or D, x. Now let's check your work. Number one, our answer is her is letter A. A to the power of negative 1. Kasi nga, yung solution natin dito is A to the power of 3 divided by A to the power of 4 is equal to A to the power of 3 minus 4. And 3 minus 4 is negative 1. That is why the answer here is A to the power of negative 1. Number two, our answer here is letter B. Okay? So, as you can see, dito sa solution na nakikita ninyo sa screen, hinihimay-himay natin siya by variable. So, let's first have A. Yung expo exponent ng numerator ng A natin is 2. And then, the exponent ng denominator A naman natin is 4. So, we have A to the power of 2 minus 4 times B naman. Na, ang exponent ng numerator na B natin is negative 3 minus exponent ng denominator natin na b which is negative 6. And then, for letter c, since wala tayong denominator na c, let's just copy the numerator na c natin. So, we have c raised to the power of negative 4. So, we have the next step here. a to the power of 2 minus 4 is equal to a to the power of negative 2 and b to the power of negative 3 minus negative 6, magiging negative 3 plus 6 yan siya. So, we have b to the power of 3. And then, c to the power of negative 4. So, um, ang final answer natin dito is b to the power of 3 divided by or over a to the power of 2, c to the power of 4. Binaba natin siya kasi yan yung law ng negative exponent which we will discuss deeper okay, later. Next, for number 3, our answer here is letter D. So, ang ginawa natin dito is the same pa rin ng step natin or ng process natin kanina. Pero, as you can notice, walang parehong variable yung numerator and yung denominator natin. So, ang ginawa lang natin dito is pinalo natin yung process ng negative exponent. Okay? So, x to the power of negative 3, y to the power of 2, w to the power of 4 na siya. Bakit naging positive 4 yung um, power ng w? It's because nilipat na natin siya into numerator. Okay? And then, v to the power of 0 is equal to 1. That is based on 0 exponent, which we will also be discussing later on. So, we have here y to the power of 2 w to the power of 4 over x to the power of 3 is the final answer. 
For number 4, simplify m to the power of 7 over m to the power of 3. The correct answer here is m to the power of 4. Ito yung um, basic okay, na, na example. So, we have m to the power of 7 minus 3 is equal to m to the power of 4. Now, for number 5, the correct answer here is 3x squared. So, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina sa example natin, when we see um, examples like this, hinihiwalay natin yung coefficient natin from the variable. So, we have here 15 divided by 5 times x to the power of 3 minus 1. Remember, yung variable na walang power automatically yung power nyan or yung exponent nyan ay positive 1. So, we have here our final answer, 3x squared. So, since we're done with our first law na exponent, which is our basis here in zero and negative exponent, let us now proceed with the definition of zero exponent. A non-zero number to the zero power is always one. Okay? Any number which is non-zero, pag sinabi natin non-zero number, hindi yun zero na number. Okay? Basta any number, whether it's negative or positive numbers, basta zero ang kanyang power or exponent, it will always result to one. Just, just note that the expression zero to the power of zero is undefined. Okay? So we have here the power of zero exponent. The index power of 0 using patterns of powers works out like this. So, bakit kaya 1 parate yung result pag 0 yung exponent ng numbers natin or even ng variables natin? So, say for example, we have 2 cubed or 2 to the power of 3. So, that is 2 times 2 times 2 which is equal to 8. And then, next 2 squared. So, 2 squared, so, ibig sabihin, nag-subtract tayo ng 1 sa power natin. So, we have 2 times 2. And then, the result is 4, which is also 8 divided by 2. And then, next, 2 to the power of 1. 2 to the power of 1, nag-subtract din tayo ng another 1 from our power na 2. Okay? Doon sa second row. So, we have the result 2. And which is equal to 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then, the next one, 2 to the power of 0. Ulit, nag-subtract lang din tayo ng 1 from our previous power, which is 1. Kaya, 0 yung next power. So, ang result niyan ay 1. Bakit kasi, the same pa rin yung process sa kabila natin, e, nagda-divide pa rin tayo ng 2. So, ang result niyan ay 1. So, any value to the power of 0 equals 1 is or which is a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we have here an example. Simplify the following. Number 1, 5 to the power of 0. Automatically, whenever you, say, you see a number with the power of 0, the result is always equal to 1. Another, 8x squared, y to the power of 6, z to the power of 10. As you can see, Yung ating expression ay nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, that means, pag nasa loob yan siya ng parenthesis, ang ibig sabihin ay, ay iisang expression lang yan sila. Okay? So, since iisang expression lang yan sila, iisa lang din ang power nilang lahat. Okay? So, ang tawag natin siya ay power of a power. And the power nila lahat is zero. So, ang result pa rin yan ay one. Next. 10a to the power of 5b to the power of 0. So, let's separate the coefficient from the variable. So, we have 10 times a to the power of 5 times 1 na lang siya. Bakit? Kasi yung power ng variable b natin is 0. Si b lang yung magiging 1 kasi siya lang yung may power na 0. Si a kasi, ang kanyang power is 5. So, we have here our final answer, 10a to the power of 5. Next, for number 4, 2r to the power of 0 plus quantity of 3s to the power of 0. So, we have here 2 times 1. Saan nang galing yung 1? Sa r to the power of 0. 
Hindi kasalay si 2 sa 1 kasi hindi naman sila nasa loob ng parenthesis. Plus 1, yung plus 1 natin is nanggaling sa 3s to the power of 0. So we have here 2 times 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Now, it's your turn. So, I hope nasundan natin yung process ng zero exponent. Directions. Read and understand its questions carefully. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Which of the following values below is equivalent to the expression 6, zero, or 6 to the power of zero, quantity 4, plus z to the power of zero? A1, B4, C5, D6. 7. Which of the following values simplifies the zero of the expression? Quantity 100,000x to the power of 5 to the power of 0. A0, B1, C10, D100,000x to the power of 5. Number 8. What is the simplified form of the expression quantity x plus y to the power of 0 over x to the power of 0 plus y to the power of 0? A1, B, 1 half, C2, D, X over Y. Number 9. When the expression 2G to the power of 0, quantity H to the power of 0, is simplified, what is the final expression? A, 0, B, 1, C, 2, D, 3. Number 10. Simplify 6 to the power of 2 e to the power of 0 minus 2 to the power of 0. A, 25. B, 35. C, 45. D, 55. Let's check your work. For number 6, our answer here is 5. Bakit 5? Our 6 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And then yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, 4, Plus 1, kasi yung 1 natin is nanggaling sa z to the power of 0. So we have 4 plus 1 is 5 times 1. The result is 5. For number 7, which of the following values simplifies the 0 of the expression quantity 100,000x to the power of 5 to the power of 0? The result here is 1. No need to solve it. As you can see, nasa loob sila ng parenthesis lahat. So, ibig sabihin, iisang expression lang yan sila. So, we have here the final answer. Our answer here is 1. So, I hope nakuha natin lahat. Yung tamang sagot. For number 8, what is the simplified form of the expression? X plus Y to the power of 0 over X to the power of 0 plus Y to the power of 0. So, Our numerator here is 1. And then our denominator is 1 plus 1. So we have here 1 over 2. Which is letter B. For number 9, when the expression 2G to the power of 0, quantity H to the power of 0 is simplified, what is the final expression? Our answer here is 2. Why? So we have here 2. Hindi siya magiging 1 kasi hindi naman siya may power na 0. So, 2 times 1, which is g to the power of 0, and then h to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So, we have 2 times 1 is 2 times 1, 2. For number 10, our answer here is letter B, 35. Okay? So, we have here 6 to the power of 2 is equal to 36. Ang e to the power of 0 naman is 1 minus yung 2 to the power of 0 natin, 1 pa rin siya. So, we have 36 times 1 is equal to 36 minus 1, we have 35. Dito, susundin natin yung rule ng PEMDAS. So, I hope you were able to get the correct answers here. If not, you still have time to learn. Next, we have the definition of terms for negative exponents. We have a to the power of negative n is equal to a over 
or 1 over a to the power of n for a is not equal to 0. So a to the power of negative n is a reciprocal of a to the power of n. Example, 3 to the power of negative 2, we have 1 to the over 3 to the power of 2. So, ang ginagawa natin sa negative exponents is kinukuha natin yung kanilang reciprocal. So, we have 2 fifth to the power of negative 6. We have 5 to the power 5 over 2 to the power of 6. So, let's have more examples here. Simplify the following. P to the power of negative 3. So, kukunin natin yung reciprocal niya which is 1 over P to the power of 3. Ganun lang siya. For number 2, 8 to the power of negative 4 is equal to 1 to the power or over 8 to the power of 4 is equal to 1 over 4096. Kasi yung 8 to the power of 4 natin means 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. For number 3, 2x to the power of negative 3, we have 1 over 2x to the power of 3 as the reciprocal. So we have 1 over 2 cubed times x cubed. Since yung dalawa is nasa loob ng parenthesis, i-distribute natin yung power niya na 3. So we have here 1 over 8x cubed. For number 4, 1 over 4 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 times 4 to the power of 2. Kasi yung reciprocal niya, pag nasa denominator naman siya, magiging numerator na yan siya. So we have 1 times 4 to the power of 2, we have 4 to the power of 2 which is equal to 16. Another way of simplifying negative exponents. Move to the negative exponents in the numerator to the denominator and become positive exponents. Katulad na yung examples natin kanina. Okay? Move negative exponents in the denominator to the numerator and become positive exponents. Kung nasa numerator yung negative na exponent, gagawin lang natin siyang denominator. Kung nasa denominator naman yung may negative exponents, gagawin lang din natin siyang numerator. So example here, 1 over 5 to the power of negative 3. Since nasa denominator yung may negative exponent, magiging numerator na siya which is 5 to the power of 3 which is equal to 125. Number 2, s to the power of negative 5 over t to the power of negative 4. Ang s to the power of negative 5 and t to the power of negative 4, babalik na rin lang natin sila. So, that is why we have t to the power of 4 over s to the power of 5. Nag-interchange lang sila ng places. Okay? Number 3, 7 to negative 4, b to the power of 3. Over c to the power of negative 2, we have b to the power of 3. And then si c to the power of negative 2 na nasa denominator, ililipat naman natin siya sa numerator. Si 7 to the power of negative 4 na nasa numerator, ibababa naman natin siya sa denominator. So 7 to the power of negative 4 is equal to 2041. So we have here b cubed c squared over 2041. For number 4, negative 8r to the power of negative 2 over s to the power of 8. So, ang ginagamit lang natin in interchanging or sa pagpapalit ng position is yung my power lang na negative. So, so, since si negative 8, hindi naman negative yung power niya, magsistay siya sa numerator. Ang ibababa lang natin, is si r na mayroong power na negative 2. So, nasa denominator na siya, r to the power of 2, and then magsistay naman si s to the power of 8 sa denominator kasi positive na yung kanyang exponent or yung kanyang power. So, I hope you have understand the, the loss in negative exponent and kaya na ninyo masagutan itong mga questions natin. So read and understand its questions carefully and circle the letter of the correct answer. What is the positive form of the expression negative 1 
over 7 raised to the power of 0. A, 0. B, negative 1. C, 1. D, 7. Number 12, which of the following values shows the positive form of the expression 4 to the power of negative 3? A, 12. B, 64. C, 1 over 12. D, 1 over 64. 13. Express 1 over 81 into negative integral exponent. A, 3 to the power of 4. B, 1 over 3 to the power of negative 4. C, 3 to the power of negative 4. D, 1 over 3 to the power of 4. Number 14, what is the equivalent of quantity m to the power of negative 3, n to the power of 2, to the power of negative 4? A, m to the power of 12 over n to the power of 8, b, m to the power of 12, m to the power of 8, c, n to the power of 8 over m to the power of 1, or letter D, 1 over m to the power of 12, n to the power of 8. 15. Evaluate the expression negative 8r to the power of negative 5 over s to the power of negative 2. A, s to the power of 2 over 8r to the power of 5. B, negative 8s to the power of 2, r over r raised to the power of 5. C, negative 8 or to the power of 5, S to the power of 2, or letter D, 8 S to the power of 2 over R to the power of 5. Now, let's check your work. For number 11, we have here our answer, negative 1. Why negative 1? Because according to our PEMDAS rule, let's... Our, Ang exponent yung una natin is to solve. So we have 1 over 7 to the power of 0 is 1. And then yung ating um, operation or yung ating sign is negative. Kaya meron tayong result na negative 1. For number 12, our answer here is D over is D, which is 1 over 64. Kasi yung 4 to the power of negative 3 natin, yung kanyang reciprocal is 1 over 4 to the power of 3. Which is equal to 1 over 64. For number 13, our answer here is 3 to the power of negative 4. Kasi yung hinahanap dyan is yung kanyang negative integral exponent. So yung 3 to, 3 to the power of negative 4, yung reciprocal nyan is 1 over 3 to the power of 4. Which is equal to 1 over 81. Okay? Na yung expression na natin na given kanina. For number 14, our answer here is letter A. Since we have um, m to the power of negative 3, i-distribute natin yung power natin na negative 4 sa negative 3 and then sa 2 na power na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Okay? So... We have the final answer, m to the power of 12 over n to the power of 8, which is letter A. 15. Evil weight, the expression, negative 8r minus um, to the power of negative 5 over s to the power of negative 2. Our answer here is negative 8s to the power of 2 and then over r to the power of 5. Okay? So, nag-interchange lang yung r to the power of negative 5 and then s to the power of negative 2 kasi negative yung exponents nilang dalawa. So, nagpalit sila ng pwesto. Si s to the power of negative 2 nasa numerator na and then si r to the power of negative 5 nasa denominator naman siya. And then si negative 8 nag-stay siya sa numerator kasi wala siyang negative na exponent. So, this is all our lesson for today. I hope you have learned, you have gained something something in this video, in this lesson that you will use in your um, future experiences. But before I will end this video, let me leave you these quotations from Vladimir Nabokov. There is one, only one real number, one. And love apparently is the best exponent of this singularity. So spread love and stay positive. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening. 
God bless everyone.